Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and today we're going to have a little walk around of a nice quiet neighbourhood here in Davla Carnival. Uh, we uh, were yesterday at the market and today I'm uh, actually where I'm actually staying for a few days. I just thought I'd take you on a little loose walk around of the street here and how quiet it is and check out some of the houses uh, in the street and just see what day-to-day -day life's like in a kind of a regional area of Russia. Um, yeah, let's have a little walk around, shall we? Okay, so we'll have a look at some of the houses here on the street. So this is actually a, a regional area of Russia. It's about 1,450 kilometers from Moscow. Um, it's a town of around about 25,000 people. It's called Davlakanova. Now, it's... Um, not a very busy, a big place. It's a, this is basically like kind of like the suburbs, I guess you would call it. But there's um, the street where we're at, actually, actually kind of a dead end street. So there's no traffic here, so we can walk along the street and there's no cars, so it's nice. Um, the area where we are here is a little bit, uh, some older houses, some newer houses. There's a brick and kind of a shingle roofed house right here. They have the plastic windows on that first level. They've replaced the windows. Gives it much better insulation. You kind of see the older houses, but then they've got modern windows. It's always a little bit strange looking. Um, you can see the very famous Lada right here. It seems to be the common car in the, the regional areas of Russia. This guy's got some nice plant pots out the front. They're in the shapes of uh, swans. Actually, I've seen these in a few houses. So I guess one guy's making them somewhere and selling them. So, yeah, it's not so busy area where we are here. It's really kind of the outer suburbs of the town. If you watch the uh, market tour video or if you want to check it out in the channel, you'll see a little bit busier. One thing about this place here, if uh, I'm not talking, it's absolutely peace and quiet. It's a nice sunny day today as well. A little bit cloud. Might rain later on, but I don't think so while we're here, so that's okay. It's a nice uh, house here. They've got the garage bricked up. These are basically wood frame houses. Look at that. If you're watching in America, a Chevy car right there. Chevy Niva. It's an American car in Russia. Yeah, wood frame houses with basically the plastic sidings on. You've got the garage. Everyone loves their blue fences here. It seems to be a common thing. There's a guy selling fences somewhere and he's making a fortune selling the blue ones. These guys have got nice flowers out the front. So um, the one thing that's uh, noticeable around is the basically all the electricity cables. In Australia, pretty much everything is now below ground. So you don't see as much exposed... Um, cables as you see in Russia they're kind of everywhere it's really uh, not a priority for them to kind of do that so yeah it's just interesting kind of walking seeing the different houses here very kind of typical you know garage house front garden back garden but uh, we'll see where we check out uh, the place where I'm staying um, these guys have kind of done a bit of remodeling they've got to do the siding on the front of their place yeah, it's, um, it's a nice, very quiet street. If you see the, the uh, phone tower right at the end there, so you get good signal. That's actually the one advantage of living here. You get good uh, internet and phone signal because of that tower right there. So this is the place where I'm staying. And yet another larder right in the driveway. Nice uh, beast of a car. This is actually a diesel one as well. So you can really hear the engine kind of going. And there's your very traditional Russian mailbox. Um, this one doesn't have the, has the number on the house, but not on the mailbox. So I'm guessing the mailman knows where to come. Number 19. Now this is a kind of a cool backyard. So basically, you know, house right out the front. So it actually has the garage in the back here. Which you'll see off in the distance. And then they actually have what looks like a garage in the front. So this is actually a, a banya, or like a steam room or sauna, I guess, depending on what word you want to use. We'll check this out. It's a nice little sort of small, cozy family banya. 
just put the lights on hopefully it's a little bit brighter so yeah there's a little chair here you've got your uh shower stuff and some books and magazines to read because you're going to chill out and this is where you actually put the fire right here at the bottom there's the fire grate down the bottom there and then it's kind of a wood panel sort of room and you'll see everybody's shower stuff this is very traditional Russian banya here. Let's sort of try and get a bit of a wide shot. This is the fire from the other side. So basically you stoke it just here in the little firebox. And then actually you get the water here and you splash it onto the, onto the firebox and it creates more steam and makes it even warmer in here. This is spin around. And then if you want to sort of bathe yourself, the idea is you get the cold water here and bathe with the cold water and splash it over you. Get the green bucket and splash it over you and you can uh, kind of bathe in the banya. Bathe in the banya. I don't think that's the right word, but yeah, this is very uh, traditional, but exactly how they're built with all the paneling and that lower sort of metal surroundings there. So yeah, nice... Uh, Nice flooring right here on the outside, and there's a little bit of wood left over here, but basically all the wood stored in the woodshed at the back of the house. That's kind of neat, I think, to check out the banya. So not everybody has one of these, so it would be considered, depends on how long ago so these are built. This was built quite a few years back. So at the time when this was built, it would have been kind of modern and luxury for the whole street. So yeah, check out the garden here. Um, so now it's kind of coming to the end of the, now it's sort of autumn time and heading towards winter. We're at the end of, well, we're in the beginning of September now, I was going to say the end of August. So a lot of the uh, crops have been harvested. Lots of tomatoes grown here, cucumbers, uh, strawberries. And you'll see actually now the coolest thing here, they call this collective gardening. So there's a little fence between each person's backyard. As we walked up the street there, we saw all the houses, right? And then you'll see all the different gardens as we've walked along here. And the next door neighbor's got some soil ready to put on his patch. And then the garage down the back. And there's more uh, garden at the back here. So yeah, a lot of people, uh, particularly in this area here, have their back gardens as, I would call them a market garden, but this pretty much all of what's grown here would be eaten at the house maybe an occasional jar of jam or something will be swapped with a neighbor or friend or something and this would actually be all be raspberries back here looks a little bit like white weeds growing but it's actually a raspberry patch um yeah it's kind of pretty cool i think to see uh this nice quiet sort of serene neighborhood um i wasn't intending to make another long video so yeah, so this is kind of the garage. Now it's actually kind of pretty neat this because you'll see here um, them they're drying out all of the or well, drying them out, basically just sitting them all in in a cool kind of shed here. All the tomatoes and check out these. Are they? Um, they're not gherkins, are they? Or they're? I'm not sure what they're called. If you let me know in the comments. I know for sure these are all tomatoes, the green and the red tomatoes, some onions, I think that's corn. And then there's some, oh, are these, are these squash? We call them squash. Um, and then these are leaves. If you know what a banya is, so actually if you are a second person in there with somebody, you'd actually use these leaves as a massage. That you, It's very weird, you have to come and see it in action. That somebody kind of hits them against you or beats them against you and it's kind of got a massaging effect and these are banya leaves right here so yeah here's the back of the house now originally this second room was actually for pigs but they don't have any pigs anymore it's easy to go get them from market i guess now or some pork but they use it for the wood storage and you can actually see some coals here. See so what you do, you can put some coals on the fire once the fire's going. 
and lots of wood storage right here. And then the last one was actually originally chickens, but it's also wood storage as well. Now, what's kind of unique here as well is this house actually did originally only have an outside toilet. And you can see it right there, the real traditional outside toilet, but being modern 2020 now, 2021, it actually has a proper plumbed bathroom inside. So yeah, I think it's kind of very interesting uh, to see these collective gardens. Very uh, English, if everyone's been to England or anyone's watching from the UK, you'll know that the, this is kind of common in some of the regional areas in England. Definitely not in Australia. Most people heard have a fence up. So you can see the house and then see the banya right there. And then, um, you know, the last thing I'm going to show you, we're not going to actually go in there. As you can see, some big cabbages here growing. Check those out. And we're not actually going to go in there, but this is actually the storage bunker. And we can probably just see down there. There's all of the jams. Um, it kind of goes down a fair way. It's about two levels down. Um, this is the storage bunker for all of the preserves. It's all the jams and pickles and sauces that are grown on the property that get put uh, in storage right there. Now, I just talked about it maybe raining and it's just starting to drizzle. Drizzle, do you guys call it drizzling? It's not really raining, just a little bit of rain. So yeah, some nice flowers here. There's, uh, actually, if you look just across, check that out. That's actually grapes growing right there. This is quite a lot of grapes on that and a few vines. And you'd think Russia's not very well known for it, would you? But here in regional uh, Russia, somebody has grapes growing on their vines. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching today's video of Davlakanova and this uh, kind of suburban area and checking out someone's uh, back garden. Actually, this is where we've stayed for a couple of days. We're heading off today to Ufa. It's about a two hour car ride and we're going to stay there for the night. Actually, I'm going to make a video once we get there. So stay tuned to the channel. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you wish. You can follow the channel along, Traveling with Russell. Of course, I'm still here on vacation. I'm heading back to ship soon, but not right away. So I thought I'd make some uh, interesting videos here in Russia. And thanks for checking out the garden tour here, or garden and street tour. I don't really know what to call it yet. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody and see you in a new video. Bye for now.